What's up, y'all? This is Osiris, and I'm, I, it's been a while since we've done a Linux gaming PC build. So today we're going to go look into this real quick and see what kind of parts you should get to make a gaming PC running Linux. <laughs> Of course, you can always hit me up on Twitter at Osiris. All right, let's get right into the build. So for the CPU, we have the Intel Core i5-6600K 6, 6, uh, because words are hard. This is an unlocked K-series Intel ch uh, processor. Uh, and what that means is that you can uh, overclock it, and it's really easy to overclock these days. So uh, if this fits in your budget, I would go ahead and pick this up. Uh, I can pretty much guarantee you this will last you for at least three years and uh, barring there's no huge technology up, uh, revelation or re in, the, in the next few years. So this is a great processor for the base of your system to last you for some years to come. On to the cooler because if you're going to overclock you're going to want to dissipate that extra heat and energy. So we have the tried and true champion of all air coolers in my opinion the cooler master hyper 212 evo uh, now that if you choose a different case make sure that this uh, heat sink fits in your case because it is kind of big relatively speaking so uh, this is a great tried and true champion of heat sinks it, it does its job it does its job extra well for a moderate price right now on new egg as of today which would be September 29th it is only 30 bucks so if you're gonna overclock get this cooler now alright we gotta put this chip into something so we need a motherboard uh, so we're gonna pick up the MSI Z170A or Z170A it's an LGA 1151 socket motherboard that fits a R, R CPU and will do its job. Of course, uh, you can change your motherboard out, especially if you don't like the aesthetics, because that's a personal taste. Um, and for the most part, they all do their job, so it's up to you. But this is a, a great overclocking motherboard. Also, keep in mind that uh, if you're not overclocking, you can downgrade your motherboard also along with your heatsink. You won't even need a heatsink if you're not overclocking. Uh, the Intel chip should come with a heatsink unless you get the OEM uh, branded one. So let's move on to our RAM. Uh, we have the Crucial Ballistic Sport 8 gig stick. Uh, and this is also a point of personal taste, but you need at least 8 gigs. Uh, you will definitely need 8 gigs. You shouldn't need more than 8 gigs no time soon. So check it, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, 16 gigs would be fantastic. 8 gigs is great. Never get less than 8 gigs if you're talking about a game machine. Uh, but this is uh, DDR4 because we're on the new Skylake platform, so it does have uh, that. This will I, I chose this because this will uh, move or upgrade with your system moving forward uh, instead of being stuck on DDR3, and it's not terribly expensive. Fifty dollars about for eight gigs of memory to store our Linux operating system, of course. Uh, we're going to have a 250 gig Samsung 850 Evo series drive. Uh, the, these drives are super fantastic and popular and really fast for the money. 250 gigs uh, for about 90 bucks or so, give or take, depending on where you get it at. And this will make your, your operating system and accessing your like personal files super, super snappy. But uh, for extra drive space, because 250 gigs is probably not enough, we picked up the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1 terabyte. Uh, it's a 7200 RPM drive. Uh, you know, it's going to be a lot slower than your SSD. But if, you, if you're making videos or store a lot of photos or even like, you know, put your games, I would definitely recommend that you store your Steam library on this drive. Now, of course, we get to the most important thing for a PC gaming and Linux gaming that would be the graphics card and for the graphics card we have the Asus GeForce GTX 970 it's got four, quote unquote 4 gigs of memory <laughs> and it's the Strix uh, lineup from Asus uh, it's 
one of the lower priced ones, but and is one of the most popular ones. Uh, this is a great car. It's a 970. Uh, this will play pretty much any Linux game you throw at it really well. Um, if if your budget is a little bit constrained, you might want to think about getting the 960. The 960 is a great great card, and it'll also play uh, most of your games at ultra uh, just just fine. So that that's about a I don't know a hundred dollars difference, and that that'll kind of rein in your budget if you're having issues uh, managing your budget. Uh, so this is the 970, and that will take care of your graphical needs. Now you're gonna uh, obviously have to put all this stuff into something. You can't just sit it on your desk, or I guess you could, but it's not advisable. But well, anyways, we have the NZXT or NZXT if you're one of those guys. Uh, S340. Uh, of course, this is another uh, part that is personal taste uh, because maybe you don't care for the window, maybe you don't want the window, or maybe you don't like the case black, maybe you want a red or blue case, doesn't matter. Uh, but this is a good case that has decent cable management, looks good, and will show off all your shiny new parts and at, a, at a reasonable price at 75 bucks. Of course, you could uh, get something less less flashy. And bring in that price uh, to about 50 ish. I, I wouldn't recommend you buy a case under 50 bucks personally. But that is the case that we're going to throw our stuff into. And the last thing, but not the least thing, because this is one of the most important things, is the power supply. I chose the Corsair CX600 watt. It's 80 plus bronze certified and it's semi modular. That will help you out a ton when you're trying to cable manage. Cable management is a uh, a necessity in my opinion uh, and this will help you with the with the semi modular design it's got more than enough power for this system uh, and it works it, it's, it's got tons of great reviews so and it, it's reasonably priced right now we're talking about 60 70 bucks depending on what day you buy it and that brings our system to one thousand seventy two dollars and seventy eight cents and you know, so if your budget is a thousand dollars, you know you have to, you're also gonna have to account for shipping. Uh, some of the stuff has free shipping, some of it doesn't. Uh, then there's price fluctuations by the day almost. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're watching the video in the future. That the, what I'm saying about the prices may be slightly different up or down. So a, a few recommendations for a a thousand dollar system. If you need to bring it into uh, let's say nine hundred dollars, or if you have more money to spend, if you have, let's start with if you have not enough money to spend, if you don't have enough money to spend, I would recommend that you downgrade the, the CPU from an i5 K series to one of the i5 uh, locked regular CPUs. That'll bring down the price, hopefully considerably, <clears throat> at least by a few bucks. Uh, and then that way you can also chunk out the the air cooler you don't need the $30 air cooler you can also downgrade your motherboard to a uh, 70 to $90 range also so you'll save uh, let's see about a hundred bucks over a hundred bucks just in those overclockable parts alone between the motherboard air cooler and the CPU uh, don't <laughs> get less than 8 gigs of RAM uh, I'm gonna say that again just don't get less than 8 gigs of RAM keep the RAM I got here um, you really don't need the SSD, even though I highly recommend it. Highly, 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 highly recommend the SSD. So if you can keep the SSD, keep the SSD. Uh, another place that you can down, downgrade is the GPU. You can go from the 970 to the 960. Uh, that, that's going to be a huge price drop also, uh, about $100 or more. So you're already, if you get rid of the overclockable parts and the GPU, now we're up to over $200 in savings. And I would, you know, pick whatever case you want. Uh, that really doesn't matter because it's just a place to put parts in. Uh, it's all about taste, how it looks, how easy you want it to be able to work inside of. Just remember that the lower price cases are not as easy to work inside typically as the higher price cases. Uh, cable management is probably a bit worse uh, and it's going to be a flimsier material. But that you can always buy a new case in the future. So you can downgrade your case if you want to. Keep the power supply. Uh, just 600 watts is a good medium. It's not too much. It's not too little. 
just keep the power supply. But uh, if, you know, if you downgrade those those parts that I told you, you can save over two hundred bucks in that arena. Uh, so if you have more money to spend um, for gaming, you don't really need an i seven. So we'll just keep the i five, uh, unless you know that you need the i seven. Uh, for you know, you're doing video editing, or you're doing photo photo editing, or whatever it is that you're doing with an i7. If you're buying an i7, hopefully you know that you need that i7. Otherwise, for gaming and just general usage, we'll keep the i5. Um, you the for the cooler, uh, you can get a all-in-one water cooler uh, if you if you'd like. Uh, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. It's not gonna be critical. Uh, it might look cooler. It might keep your CPU a bit more cooler. Uh, so that's really your choice if you decide to get like one of the cooler master I mean uh, Corsair um, all-in-one water coolers so that's a place where you can upgrade if you want the motherboard uh, you can choose a different motherboard I don't know if I would tell you to spend more on a motherboard uh, it's, just, it's just not necessary the stuff that you get on the higher price motherboards is really not something you would need for a system of this type so eh just just pick the motherboard that you like uh, in in a similar price range now for the memory you could always use more memory there's never enough memory so if you can get another 8 gig stick remember to try to keep your sticks of memory at the same capacity so if you're gonna get another stick of memory get another 8 gig stick of memory or and just buy one 16 gig stick of memory and then in the future buy another 16 gig stick of memory so you can always use more memory because why not <laughs> uh, for the solid state drive of course if you wanted to you could buy more uh, more storage space uh, if that's your thing you can always get the a, a higher capacity SSD drive or you can go for say like I think that Samsung Pro series is uh, faster than even these Evo series I think it's the Pro series uh, if it's not leave it in the comments uh, then you can go to for the for your uh, your mechanical drive you can always get the western digital black series which will be a little bit faster i think and you can always get more storage space of course uh you know they have two terabyte three terabyte uh, i think they even now have six and eight terabyte uh, mechanical drive so that's if that's what you need buy more drive space uh for the graphics card you can always bump up from the 970 to the 980 or the 980 ti that's up to you. Uh, I don't really think there's really any Linux games that require such um, amounts of uh, ho graphical horsepower. But of course, if you have a 1440p or or a 4K monitor, you could definitely use the extra graphical power. Uh, especially, you know, I've tried triple monitor gaming, and it does work on Linux. So if if that's what your thing is, you might also want to have that. If you're if you're dual booting, maybe. Uh, you're playing something like GTA 5 or one of the later games that are out you might want that extra graphical horsepower I really don't think for a regular 1080p uh, gaming that anything more than the 970 is necessary even the 970 is probably a bit overkill so for the case like I said earlier you can buy more expensive cases get more uh, space to work inside the case which and also different colors different sizes uh, there, better material uh, stronger material like the fractal design cases are made of really uh, strong metals uh, it's a heavy case and it's pretty quiet if you get the defined series uh, then they have you know you might uh, if you get like water cooling say you get something like the EK water blocks I, I don't remember the name of it but they have a expandable all-in-one cooler that you can uh, expand upon and make it a full water custom loop uh, so does I have the Swift tech h220x which also does that so i have a water block on my gpu and extra radiator uh, for a total of two radiators so if you want a case that accommodates water cooling better uh, th th now would be the time to do that i as a note i would highly recommend the fractal design case for that the define r5 and for the power supply you could yet yeah, you could definitely spend more money on the power supply get a better power supply that uh that delivers even better power you, you know the power supply is the most important thing if the power supply blows up your computer then we all have a problem so you can spend a little bit more money uh if, if you're if your budget is flexible like that like i said earlier you can hit me on twitter 
at Osiris and I will try to help you with your your gaming build. So that's the that's the gaming build for September 2015. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comments section. And until next time, this is Osiris and I'm out. The uh, frame rate. So on that note, it, it ran decently.